Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am Amalgamash, and this is Grindalf's Pixel Character Maker. On this channel, I have reviewed a couple of different RPG character generators, namely the Stella Character Generator and the Aurora Character Generator. We're going to be taking a look at this one today. Let me read you the description off of the itch.io page. Pixel Character Maker is a tool for creating character sprite sheets to be used primarily in RPG style games, but could be useful in many other game genres as well. Pixel Character Maker creates walk animations in four directions by overlaying many different layers to create a complete character. It has hundreds of sprite sheet layers. Damn. And the built-in color swapper allows you to change the colors in each sheet, giving huge diversity in character design. There are various export styles to allow for the needs of most, if not all, game makers. Now that I'm interested in checking out too. And the following is one of the best parts about this. You can add new sprite sheets and entirely new sprite collections of any sizes you want, as long as the sprite sheets are three frames by four directions. So no eight directional sprites here, but you can essentially shape this tool into being a generator for anything you want. If you provide the parts, you've got something that is already comparable to the Stella character generator, except obviously you won't have the um, drawn bust graphics, which I mean, Originally made for myself to make life easier while making my own game. So if you look at the wallpaper of this webpage, we have shorter, squattier sprites. Uh, that are 16 by 16 and then we have the taller more mature looking sprites that are 32 by 48 and these taller sprites are exactly the kind of sprites exactly the kind of characters that are used in Grindalf's game one of his games Dungeons of Mysteria which I play right here on the channel when I saw these I thought to myself I bet Grindalf used this tool to make all of the NPCs in that game and I, I might be right. But yes, this features a 16 by 16 pixel set and a 32 by 48 pixel set. And here, just a note that they look forward to receiving suggestions of new sprite sheets or tools to add. You can buy this on the itch.io page for £4.95, or that's roughly the equivalent of 6.85 USD. We are about to confirm that it's worth every penny, the all important EULA or license. And we get this window. If I could make one suggestion right away, I think it would be very helpful for me if I could size this window in some way. But we have file, help, and about. Created by Grindelf and Stripey Tigris. So good job, the two of you. Now this comes with in app help topics which is extremely nice this is a nice to have uh, but it's right here in in the application so that is amazing it tells you about frame editing color swapping adding new sets exporting this is this is good stuff and under file we have new character open save and export and export layer or prefab so we'll get into those those things later before we get into it I want to take a peek at what's under the hood or at, at least what's in the back seat of this and we have a couple of different system files a folder called CS which stores all of the images for the tutorials the palettes folder which stores some pretty interesting images of palettes and I wonder how those are gonna come into play a saves folder, which I haven't saved anything yet, so it's empty, and sheets, and this is what I wanted to see. This has the 16 by 16 as well as 32 by 48 folders full of subfolders, which presumably are full of layer graphics. Backpack, bases, chest plate, coats, dress, extras, eyes, greaves, hair long, hair short, hair tails, hats, helmet, skirt, tops, tube, top simple, tops v-neck, trousers. That's enough of that. Let us make my OC Virge Sibzen. New character, please. We're going to do a 32 by 48. And looks like we can just click on the different categories. And then we'll have to click on one of the subcategories to load in that ping file. I've got the static sprite sheet here in my view. And I've got the animated sprite sheet walking around here. This is very promising so far. Highly intuitive. Uh, that's base pack. Oh, backpack. Not base pack. I don't want a backpack, so how can I get rid of you? Oh, it adds more for every time we click. So he wasn't kidding. This, this could be hundreds of sprite sheets, hundreds of layers. Let's get rid of those. So we'll do a female base. Oh, you get the preview of that base as you're mousing over. That is fantastic. 
Okay, so we have the same body type for both, but we have different skin colors. Can we use the color swapper now? Yes. This sprite sheet has three colors, and we can give it three new colors, right? Yeah. We click on the square for the base color, the low light, and the high light, and then we can apply it. Fierce has blue skin, we'll give her dark blue shadows, and then a black outline. Beautiful. And then we close that out. I've got a bunch of layers on top of my visible layer, so we're gonna get rid of those because I clicked female base way too many times. There we go. The updated version of my character so far. Beers does not have a beard, however, let's see what it would look like if she did. That is a very impressive beard. Oh, so every time you click just to explore, it does add the layer, so you will need to remove it. Now, it does appear that right click doesn't do anything, so I wish that right click would remove all of the instances so that I could just easily click and then right click but I guess it does put the layer on top, so it, as long as you're staying in the same subcategory, the topmost layer is the one you're looking at, so right now it's showing the mustache gray on the female base one, and everything else is covered up by the mustache gray. Still, let's get rid of those. You can also select these and change the order of them, which is, that is insane. That is so handy. Let's get some clothes on this lady. She does not wear hot pants. The color picker is that's incredible. That is so cool. It reminds me of ESO's die system almost. That might be praising it a little too high, but still. I wonder how I can get to look at the other color palettes. Probably in the instructions that I neglected to follow. Loud red pants it is. Let's give her a top. What do we have? We have bikini. We have crop top. We have a regular top. Another version of the top. Yet another. Now what if I tried to put a male shirt? on her top one red oh that actually it's very very blocky i see that's fair all right so it's easy to start clicking things and get a little bit jumbled but we can fix that very easily as well we're gonna click on the top three and we're gonna make sure we push up in order to layer it beneath the jacket i'll get rid of the man's red top and although this is called the blue jacket i actually want it to be red looks like i can change the colors no problem nice deep red that'll work for me now i haven't looked at these controls here yet but if you mouse over each one it will actually give you a tool tip to tell you what it does you can stretch the frame width ways you can move the frame up you can stretch the frame height wise move it down left right squash the frame width wise and height wise you can paste onto the selected frame, copy the selected frame, and delete the selected frame. So you can select your different frames here that way, and that should reflect in the animation as it is playing. You can also change the viewing animation style, so this is just showing you a loop of only going in that direction. You will have to click one of the respective directions to keep it that way. You can also pause the animation and we'll just let it loop let it walk up down left right and keep on making our character all right i have got a nose on my character now but Vierge is an all raw from final fantasy 14 and she's got cheek scales just below her eyes so i'm kind of wondering if i can use this in an unconventional way in order to make this nose into cheek scales so if we move this frame ah we can we can do that we can take and move all three of those frames to the left, and then I can add another nose, and I can move all of those to the right. This is actually really simple. Now you might ask why I want to do that. Well, I want those to represent the, actually want those to represent the cheek scales, but we're gonna, we're gonna adjust the position of them after we look at the eyes. Beers will have feminine eyes. I was just able to make a box. What, what did that do? I don't know. I don't think I'll play around with it enough to find out. That is nifty. It's working out, actually. It's working out really, really well. Uh, I might actually be able to create my OC by changing these elements that I can paste onto the sprite sheet. All right, Vierge has hair, so we need to get some hair on this lady. And again, I really appreciate the previews that pop up alongside the cursor. You can see them, they're very, very small. So if you've played Dungeons of Mysteria or if you've watched me play it, these are the same hairs that appear in that program. And usually when I've tried to make my characters I just go with ponytail. Now her hair is actually a dark blue, darker than that. That's what I usually do to her hair. Fits, this is coming along. Uh, the nose, however, has caused her to have a big nose, so we actually need to pull those in, both of them. Perfect. 
perfect. I want to add that I have not used this program before. I've, I've never touched it. I got it some weeks ago and I planned on making a video, but I had not broke it apart and, and started playing with it before this. So you're actually watching me learn how to use it as I'm using it. Her cheek scales are kind of black. If you forget to apply the color, the, uh, the color doesn't save. Once you exit that window, you have to apply the color. Unfortunately, no mouth. Let's give her a hat though. She does canonically wear a hat all the time. She does wear a tricorn, but it's a tricorn with a very big brim. It's it's very vampire hunter D. It's very vampire with a very very big brim. That's that's hard to say over and over even once. Grindalf, I I would appreciate that. I, I want a a, a tricorn with a flattened down and very just improbably large brim. Grindel's like, make it yourself. You you just bragged about how the program would let you do that. And I'm like, but I'm lazy. Obviously her hat is also red. Once I was in the game, just standing uh, outside of my squadron's headquarters in Gridania, and somebody came up and messaged me and said, you look like Carmen Sandiego. And they complimented my appearance. And I thought that that was pretty cool because I actually like Carmen Sandiego. All right, we can now give her a crown, eye patch, glasses, necklace, pompon, shadow, star, tiara. The tiara with this hat makes it look like some sort of military decoration, like she's M. Bison. Now, just for reference, this is the character that I created in Final Fantasy that I write about. Uh, this is Vier Sivzen. This would be very, very hard to recreate in any character generator outside of the Final Fantasy 14. So I, I usually go for a completely different version of her. I ordered my own custom figurine. This is from Hero Forge. Uh, she is an archer in the game. She's a bard class, so she's got the long bow. I gave her a, 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 a rapier. There are some arrows in the base. She's carrying a couple of flagons because I have canonically played her as a, a bit of a drinker just to give her a little bit more street cred for being a bard. She's got the loot on her back and she's got the aura sort of lizard-like tail, a loud hat, and her aura horns are represented by what uh, are really like goat horns in that character creator. But there she is. There's there's what I paid, I think, mm, 15, 20 dollars for. But that's it. We could very easily, if I'm not mistaken, we could very, very easily create a tails folder in the same folder that all of this stuff is found in and then in the tails folder we could draw a tail on this character i could give her her horns i could give her her tail i could give her her longer vampire hunter d vampire killing hat i could really get in here and edit these clothes because i can edit the sprite sheets individually and i i have every ounce every iota of appreciation for that so grindelf bang up job awesome awesome job uh, if I were doing an is it worth it episode, this would be a yes, definitely, uh, because this tool just provides that kind of functionality that you can use to create nigh unlimited characters, right? Let's save it. Doesn't give us a file type. I wonder what it's going to save it as. It saved it as a .car file, .character, and it has all of the associated pings all out here so it, it's saving each individual element so you could create your character and you could save it and then you could go in and open any of these that you want in the art program of your choice awesome now would the next step in your workflow would then be to open the saved character with that modification if you do that please back up your character first i don't i don't want to take responsibility for um busting up your character that you worked so hard to make all right we can export the character now we can actually change the frame order oh wow we can change the direction order oh my god yes um we have northeast southwest and we have southeast west north and we have southwest east north and this is so so important i'm gonna i'm gonna show you why well unfortunately it's it's not as good a news as i as i hoped uh this is a 2d sprite sheet from smile game builder and they are arranged oriented differently than those found in RPG Maker. So RPG Maker sprites cannot just be dragged and dropped into Smile Game Builder. You have to open them in the paint program. You have to change the orientation. You have to change the directions around. So they actually go north, south, west, east, and that is not an option in the Pixel Character Maker. However, uh, Grindelf, if I could, if I could give you a legitimate request for this software, could you please add a direction order that is north, south, west east i am guessing that's what that means 
for that. Um, I, I think that then I would be able to shill this tool to all of the Smile Game Builder enthusiasts out there who are looking for character creation tools. We don't have them. We can easily create unlimited RPG Maker characters and open those in Paint and then meticulously move everything around, but we just don't have the capability of exporting them in that native orientation from any program, so that would be amazing. You can also change the mask color. Uh, it's it's default to magic pink. You saw the pink backgrounds. That just means that that's going to be the transparent part of the image, and then we can, the image format can be bitmap as well as ping, and then you can export. Export layer prefab. Oh, wow. So you can export this as a layer and just save it in any of the other layer sheets. So those cheek scales that I made out of noses, I can just save those as cheek scales. And now I'll have cheek scales for my next aura. It's freaking brilliant, man. It's amazing. My mind is blown. So this is, this is the functionality that we need, period. It's all here. It's just here, you know? It's it's fundamental, but it's sorely needed, and it's right here. And you saw, it took me no time at all to learn how to use it and to correct my mistakes. The worst thing I can see happening is I accidentally click on the female base when I meant to be clicking on something right below it, like the trousers or something, and then delete that, and I delete my base layer. But then I just go put another female base in there, and then I just change the order so that she's up at the top. Oh, God. Oh, God. That went from inappropriate to Eldritch. All right, Pixel Character Maker, 10 out of 10. I'm excited to use this thing. Let's quickly look at the 16 by 16 set. And we have, we have the same thing here as well. We're gonna randomize. We're gonna make an incredible 16 by 16 character. Let's give them some actual eyes. And I think that's it. Look at the extras, give them a cape. This is my 16 by 16 character. Uh, her name is Eunice and she is amazing okay i she doesn't have any hair that's fine she is a badass she's a a, a spell casting cowboy who always wears a skirt and yes i've seen women wearing skirts ride horses i almost said drive horses it's time for me to stop this video thank you very much for watching thank you grindel for, for providing me with uh, a copy of the pixel character maker software i'm I highly encourage everybody to check this out. It's it's really great. And tell me what you thought in the comments below. I'm sure Grindolf would love to hear your feedback, so make sure you go to the itch page, review the software, comment the crap out of it, and uh, definitely suggest anything that you'd like to see. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you had fun. Take care. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.